everybody, it's Sister Young 3 here to pretty much give you a one uh, two week update on my hair at the Bobby Boss collection. And well, the Bobby Boss Forever New Kinky Perm here. And also, I'm gonna do a one week update on my skincare routine. If you watch me on Instagram, watch me. If you follow me on Instagram, you pretty much know. Come in, you pretty much know what's going on. I have really bad skin, and I don't really take care of it like I should, because you know when I wear synthetic hair or any human hair for long um, without proper care, my face will break out. And you know, this is the bathroom. I might as well do it like this. So, oops, hold up. Yeah, it is kind of gross. Okay, once again, I'm so sorry about that. I'm using um this uh, sticky phone thing or whatever it's called um, from shopmissa.com. I bought me two because one of them broke. So, because of that, it fell. And that's the reason why I decided to put this over here instead of over there where the water is. So, yeah. To make a long story short, um, I did a skin routine. And, you know, with me, I can get allergic to it very quick, very fast, especially when it comes to that care. So, if you pretty much follow me on Instagram... You already know what kind of skincare products that I use. But first, we're going to start with the hair. Hold on. Sorry about that. Um, first, we're going to start with the hair. Now, with the hair that I have in, this is the, uh, the um, Forever New. Forever New. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Forever. Bobby Boss Forever New uh, Kiki Perm. So, I'm sorry, y'all. A lot has, went, has been going on lately. And I'll get into that later. So, so far with the hair, um, it's pretty good. And this Friday will actually be two weeks since I had it. So, of course, if y'all watch my remedy on how to get the hair nice and pu nice and straight for one minute and back to its, you know, other texture. That's what I pretty much do. I do that once a week and go about my day. And that's about it. So, yeah. Um, also, I went and got me some other hair, but I ended up not liking it because it was too thin for me. And I went and got this hair called the Mega Brazilian Remy. This Isis collection. This here. I didn't really like it because one, it was too thin. And I like volume. Um, and that's probably why I went back to wearing this. Because at one point I did take it off and try the other one on because this is a hot glue gun way so a track was like slipping so I didn't want that so that's what I did. So so far the hair it will be two weeks Friday that I had this hair so it's some really good hair. If I use my remedy and how to take care of this hair then this hair can last you a good month or two with proper care. Now the skincare products that I use for pretty much every day. Also, I forgot one more thing. I'll be right back. Okay, from what I remember where I left off was, um, I was talking about this hair. The, uh, Isis Collection Makeup Brazilian Remy hair. So, I went and bought this hair because I wanted the craze. I was following the Trevor Crazy's hair. You know, now I have my method of only, if I'm going to wear synthetic hair, I am going to wear, you know, human, well, like, um, African-American texture type of hair. That's the only hair that I will wear in synthetic. I don't have no problem doing, like, like pretty much styles that looks like it would be my hair, if that makes sense. Like the Brazilian curl, like the, um, shake and go Brazilian curl. That looked like that could have been my hair. And this looked like that could have been my hair could have been my hair. That one, it was too thin for me. I like fullness and volume, as you can see. And um, there's another hair that I want to get and that I will do a review that's been crazy lately. They got this new hair called Deja Vu. Um, uh, perm kinky hair. And I want to get that hair so bad. And the only website that has it is um, 
Tyson, Tyson, Ty, I can't pronounce the name, but it's T-I-S-U-N beauty.com. They have it for a really good price. So I contact the uh, owner of the website. I say, hey, as soon as you get that hair in the color number four, please hit me up. And it was very nice to let me know that, yeah, as soon as we get the order, we'll let you know. So expect that to come out. Um, also, um, let's get to, this video is going to cover a whole lot of things, so expect a long ass video. Also, I have recently just started taking my vitamins. Now, if you watch my videos, you pretty much know that I have weight loss surgery. I have weight loss surgery. It's been three months since I lost 40, 40 pounds altogether. So, I gave myself a break. And what I mean by that is I wanted my body to recuperate, get back to itself where it's um, good enough and, you know, better. That's what I wanted to do because I didn't really do nothing for the first three months. You know, bike riding, you know, water and this and that. I haven't really done nothing like that. I've been eating, so I will eat. I'm not going to lie. I have been eating, but hey, I can't starve myself, right? So it's all about control. But the most important thing about having this surgery is that you have to take your vitamins for the rest of your life. I don't know about you, but um, I rather take vitamins for the rest of my life than go back to where I was before. So, yeah. If you don't want to take vitamins for the rest of your life, which is recommended that you have to anyway, um, even before surgery, even before surgery can. Yeah. So, I got these vitamins here. I got some of my medical pills that I'm supposed to take, my Prozac and all that stuff that I'm supposed to take. And then also, I got me some hair, skin, and nail pills, which I'm going to show you all the pills that I have in here, most of them anyway. So, I got the um, women's vitamins plus iron that my mom got me, some Healthy Sense Body Hair, Skin, and Nails multivitamins and then I got my three no my D my I'm sorry y'all I just got a lot on my mind and I'll explain that later my D 350 vitamins these right here so of course I was doing good with taking these vitamins but I got sick and I was making myself really sick I don't know if it's because I wasn't taking them the right away if I was taking them too close or whatever but I got sick and I stopped taking them so now for now on until you know what one year appointment um or whatever I decided to take my vitamins and take a better care of myself physical physically mentally and spiritually now with that being said I have a three-year-old so I have to live for him he has to be taken care of by me I have help in the family that take care of him as well so it would be kind of selfish enough to, it would be kind of selfish of me not to really take care of my body like how I was supposed to. I have a baby, so I have to live longer to take care of him. So yeah, with that being out the way, so I take 12 pills a day. I take the first six in the morning and the first six at night. I dropped something, a piece of plastic or whatever. So yeah, and um, let's get with my skin remedy right quick because I want to get this video up and going and you know I have to take care of what I need to take care of. Okay, for my skin, if you follow me on Instagram, luckily enough my skin is not really like um, picky or whatever because all I have to really do is drink water and skin remedies and that's it. I don't know what type of skin condition that I have or whatever. Keep in mind I just woke up. So I just went and got um, these products from my Dollar Tree where I work at and they sell this type of product here. Now all the products I'm about to show you are from my job and they cost a dollar because you know skin products are very expensive so yay I ain't got a problem with that. So I got the oil free acne wash for a cleaner, clear complexion, gentle yet effective treatment and for acne problems. So I got that. Then I got the facial cleanser. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Got this facial cleaner. I think this is for the morning. Yeah, it is. But I use it at night as well. 
And then I got me foam acne scrub. Then I got me the deep cleaning mask. And then I also got, this is one of my good skincare. Sometimes when I bust a bump on my face, it leaves a scar. So I got me, I probably need to get me another one anyway. I got a Clear Cell Ultra Clear Scar. I mean, Scar Care. And not, this is the creams. I mean, it's just the last of the creams. Whatever. Um, and this is NYC Pure Skin. And then I also got me two more products here. And this is, of course, the acne cream. Yeah, this is the acne cream that I got. And then this is the original Terminator acne free for clear skin and last but not least I have the daily moisturizer lotion oatmeal to protect and relieve dry skin to protect and relieve dry skin I guess I have dry skin not really I don't know so what I do was I do these in sections okay where's my scrub brush hope my son did that here it is I do these in sections okay what I do first is I use um, these five creams here all together, these right here, all at once. And how I do it is I use this brush. I take a little bit of each product onto the, well first I rub my face with water. So I take my time, fill my um, sink with water and then just rub it in the water so it can get my pores, you know, open and stuff. Then I would take a little dip and dab from all these products mm, and dip it in this little cleaner brush right here. So then once I get done with that, I use the oils stuff. I'm sorry, y'all. And then last but not least, I use these three products I mix them together small little dab and put on my face and actually I have really been seeing results by using these products now I'm not saying that it will work for y'all I'm just saying what works for me and if you're on a budget if you spend so much money on skincare products that didn't work then you could try these skin products you could get them at your local Dollar Tree so these are I'm just telling you what works for me I'm not saying this will work for everybody else but this has been working for me and it's, I believe it's been a week since I did this and I've seen a lot of um, results and changes so yeah with the accident with my phone early I would show you how I would do it I still might do it I'm not sure yet um, if I put my phone in a different area where it's not water then I'll do it so yeah that's what I'm about to do I'm gonna show you how I do it so first um, with the kinky perm hair that I have in my head. It's really good. The only tangling that I get is from the bottom bundle. Of course, this is synthetic, so it's on my shirt on a daily basis. Now, what I do when I go to bed every day, every night, I have a silk bonnet. Silk bonnets are your best friend, especially for synthetic hair. Okay? So, this hair is really good for me. Friday will be two weeks and the hair will be two weeks Friday since I had this hair every two weeks and the skincare will be one week and I just started doing my um multi vitamins so yeah so a lot to cover so of course what I do every day and night is you know I brush it out which I did earlier in the early clips and I wrap it around into a little bun like so I don't put no pins in it or nothing and just pretty much put a bonnet. Just pretty much put a bonnet over my head. Yes, I do wake up like this every day. I go to bed. Alright, so if things go right, I'll put my phone somewhere on my mirror so I can actually show y'all how I do my skin remedy 
even though I did explain to you guys. But, you know, some people are just very... Uh-oh, I lost an earring. Oh, well, fuck it. It's only a dollar. Um, are very literal. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, then I'm going to go into a further, deeper discussion. So, I'll see y'all in a second. your love anymore My skin as good as it's looking right now I have seen results also with these products and with the vitamins that I take you have to drink a lot of water because that's what is the biggest requirements of having um weight loss surgery so yeah I suggest you start taking the vitamins if you decide to do the surgery and get yourself together because you will have some thinning hair situations so I wear wigs. I stay in wigs all day, every day. So I wouldn't notice any spots or anything like that because that's what I do. I wear wigs. I do that to not really worry about my hair. That's just me. But other than that, the hair is great. I love it. I don't know about y'all, but I love it. I love the hair. Um, you know, excuse me. If you do the remedies I did in my last video, then this hair can do good. Okay? Silk bonnet every day. Flat iron and blow dry it to keep the texture and then give her the knots every once a week. Wrap it up in the silk body every night. And just pretty much that's it for the hair care. So this Friday will be a three-week update. Now the important announcement that I'm about to make. Depending on when I'm going to post this video after editing and trying to figure out what else I got to do. My mom got into a car accident. So, I'm going to be taking care of her, and my son has also been running a fever lately. So, I'm not going to really have time to make videos like I usually do. Now, if I do have the time once I take, you know, after taking care of my mama for a while, then I will slip in making videos here and there. But for right now, I need to take care of my mother because she had a car accident, and my son who is going through a fever. So, um, this is not like a, like a, um, like a, uh. What you call it? A goodbye or nothing? It ain't nothing like that. It's just I have to take, get my priorities straight for right now before I um come back and do videos. I will do videos still because if I 
if everything goes right, hopefully I will get an order from that website that I discussed with y'all in an earlier clip and go from there and do a review on that. But I love the hair. I love the skin products that I bought. And all these products that I just discussed were from my own money. I don't have enough subscribers for people to pay me to pretty much bullshit y'all. So these are my actual experience. The hair is good. Remember that it's synthetic. It's natural looking. The cons about it. Well, let's start with the pros. The pros is nice. It's, uh, it's, um, the packaging is good. The hair is soft. It's enough to do, if you want to do a full wig, get through four just to be safe. But, um, like I said, if you're going to do a sewing or a quick wig, which I recommend not to do anyway, unless you want to take care of it like that. If you know how to take care of it. I would recommend, especially if you're going to do leave out, I would suggest two packs. Or if you're going to do a full sew-in or a full quick through invisible part, four packs. So four packs with a sew-in and invisible part. Four packs with the quick weave and the visible part. Four packs if you do a full wig like me. And two packs for a quick weave with a leave out and a sewing with a leave out. But hey, if you watch my remedies and how to take care of this hair, then you will have a long lasting successful hairstyle, okay? So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I will see y'all in my next video, okay? Bye-bye.